Hello, welcome back to Better Sushi Recording. In this episode, we're gonna play around. Uh, basically, I'm gonna try to recreate uh, something like this using Blender and Nodes. And I will be using Sphere Chalk, even though you definitely can do this using Animation Nodes as well. But I think Sphere Chalk is easier because you, you already have all the, the nodes. So if you want to build something like this from scratch, you probably can using a little bit of math. It's not really that complicated, but I like the way um, Sphere Chalk works. So let's just create that. So it's like a circle and then twist it, right? Indeed, it is really just a circle and being twisted. So if you go to node editor, Sphere Chalk, and create a circle, and use a viewer draw, and you will get exactly a circle and if you want to make it standing instead of uh, in the Z axis you use rewire and there you go so now it's facing the X axis so the next thing you want to do is just use a simple deform where we have twist twist bendy taper so those are really really handy and we can use radian or degree and just to twist it so let's see what we get so we have this vertices and the twist the twist does not seem to work okay it is working and you get this kind of polygon edge result if you bake it out looking something like this but if you use polyline viewer you will get yeah something like that and that's already kind of getting there you can use B spline so it's kind of smoothing the result and you can twist it further and also play your oh the radius doesn't have much but uh, the vertices also and you can try rotating it. Um, let's see the radius. There's the twist here. You don't, you don't need, you need that. And you can have like a multiple, multiple, multiple lines like this. So to make multiple lines like this, you use maybe like multiple data. Let's say, let's say. We're gonna use range float and we're gonna make three curve start stop the same plug in into the radius um, if I make a different number we have multiple curve like that so that's kind of interesting as well now here we you can see we have three data and if you want to make something like this you probably want to rotate it a little bit and you can rotate you can rotate the result of uh, the curve so the rotations can be rotated like this simply plug this into the angle and yeah 180 or 360 and then oh actually maybe 180 so that's kind of giving us the result we want let me check 0 to 180 or step use step or use the stop uh, sometimes not 100% clear unless you look at it from the top it's definitely need to be 360 or 270 in this case oh well that's probably doesn't matter too much um, let's try just make this the same size okay and then we can have um, a number let's make this five for example and then so five plug into this guy so yeah I think it's a uh, it's getting somewhere 
and we can further play around with the twist and it's rather simple to make maybe uh, if we can give it a color will be more interesting this angle doesn't seem to be right 270 but that's interesting maybe 270 is not exactly what we want maybe it's more like if we use a step a step it should be like a math 360 divided by 5 like that oops and this goes in there and the count come from this guy so now we have this setup uh, what is this three rings okay three rings and we can increase the ring and it should always cover the whole thing so three rings looks like this and you can further twist the angle do things like that increase or decrease the number of vertices this is also kind of interesting so yeah there's a a lot of variations you can create from here so like I said you can definitely build this from scratch and maybe one day if you're really interested you can see the answer by maybe Mr. Omar So yeah, this was a challenge by Nikos Printos and for animation nodes. But I think this is the easiest way you can create using nodes because Fairchild already have simple deform. And yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. So there you go. Hopefully you find this useful. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.